techniques are far more important than just random atom. So in this video, with a simple technique, I am going to solve the most important question very easily. And today's topic is integration using residues and I am going to use the contour integration. Now, in today's video, I am going to prove that integral minus infinity to plus infinity x square minus x plus 2 by x power 4 plus 10 x square plus 9 into dx is equal to 5 pi by 12. So, this is the contour. So, the contour is a semi-circle. So, it is having uh, limits from minus r to plus r and cr. So, cr is a semi-circle with center 0 and radius r. Now, this is the question and I have to show that the answer is 5 pi by 12. And now, first of all, I am going to consider this in terms of, so this is in terms of x, I am transforming this in terms of z. That is z square minus z plus 2 by z power 4 plus 10 z square plus 9 into dz is equal to integral c f of z into dz. Where c is nothing but the contour. So, c is the contour consisting of a semicircle cr of radius r together with the part of the real axis minus r to plus r. So, here this is the semicircle together with minus r to plus r, a real part and this one is a semicircle with center 0, the radius r. Now, this total integral is split into two parts. So, this total integral is split from minus r to plus r, f of x into dx as it is the real axis and this one is a cr which is a semicircle that is f of z into dz. Clearly, our f of z value is given as z square minus z plus 2 by, this is z power 4 plus 10 z square plus 9. So, after getting our f of z value, so what we have to do? So, we have to find the poles. So, the poles, how we have to find the poles? So, our f of z is very clear as z square minus z plus 2 by, this is z power 4 plus this is 10 z square plus 9. Clear? So, for finding the poles, we have to equate the denominator to 0. So, clearly, this is z power 4 plus 10 z square plus 9 is equal to 0. See here, the factors here will be 10, I am splitting this as 9 plus 1 plus 9 is equal to 0. So, if I take z square common, this will be z square plus 9 and if I take 1 common, this is again z square plus 9. So, if I take z square plus 9 common, so what remains here, this will be z square plus 1 is equal to 0. So, after equating to 0, this is z square plus 9 is equal to 0 here and this is z square plus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is z square is equal to minus 9, z is equal to root over minus 9 and z value will be plus or minus. So, this is plus or minus, this is 3i. Here, z square is equal to minus 1 and z is equal to root over minus 1 and z value is equal to plus or minus i. So, here if you observe, there are four simple poles that is z is equal to minus i, this is plus i, minus 3i and plus 3i are simple poles. So, with these simple poles, what we have to do? So, we have to check whether they are inside, outside or on the given contour. So, what is the contour given here? The contour is a semicircle. See here, it is very clear that it is a semicircle with limits minus r to plus r. This is a center 0. So, this is a semicircle with radius r and this is x axis and this is y axis. So, here is the journey from minus r to plus r and again for the semicircle. So, here we have to check whether these are inside or on outside. So, this is plus i and this is clearly minus i. So, here clearly this is plus 3i and this is minus 3i. In between there is 2i and minus 3i. So, plus i and my, plus i and plus 3i are inside the given contour and minus i and minus 3i are outside the given contour. So, we have to find out the residues for the interior poles. So, first of all, the interior pole is, the first interior pole is i. So, I am going to find out the residue of f of z for the interior pole z is equal to i. So, this is limit z tends to i. This is z minus i into the value here is f of z. So, this can be written as limit z tends to i z minus i into what is f of z here f of z is very clear as this one that is z square minus z plus 2 see this is z square minus z plus 2 by 
here the factors here are these that is z square plus 9 into this is a z square plus 1 z square plus 9 into z square plus 1 now i am going to substitute here so this is limit z tends to i this is z minus i times of this is z square minus z plus 2 by see here i am leaving this as it is and this can be written as z plus i into this value is z minus i if i cancel these two and substitute in place of z as i this is i square minus i plus 2 by this is i square plus 9 and this value is this is i plus i as you know that i square value is equal to so what is our i square value so i square value is equal to minus 1 now if i substitute the same thing here then this will be residue of f of z so this is residue of f of z for the interior pole z is equal to i so this will be i square minus i plus 2 by this is clearly i square plus 9 into this one is 2i now if i substitute in place of i square as minus 1 so this is minus i plus 2 and again this is minus 1 plus 9 and this is 2i so this will be 2 minus 1 is 1 minus i by this is 8 to the 8 into this value is 2i therefore the residue of f of z for the interior port z is equal to i is nothing but 1 minus i by 16 i so clear so for the interior pole z is equal to i we got the residue value as 1 minus i by 16 i and the next interior pole here is 3 i so 3 i is also within the contour therefore residue of f of z for the next interior pole z is equal to 3 i is nothing but this is limit z tends to 3 i this is z minus 3 i into this value is f of z therefore this is limit z tends to 3i this is z minus 3i into f of z so what is our f of z value so f of z value is very clear as this is z square minus z plus 2 this is z square minus z plus 2 by z power 4 plus 10 z square this is z power 4 plus 10 z square plus 9 plus 9 and now we can split this in terms of this is limit z tends to 3i this is z minus 3i into this is z square minus z plus 2 and this can be written as z square plus 9 into this is z square plus 1 clear so now this can be written as limit z tends to 3i this is z minus 3i into this is z square minus z plus 2 by this can be split into z plus 3i into this is z minus 3i into clearly this is z square plus 1. If I cancel these two and substitute in place of z as 3i, this will be 3i square minus this is 3i plus 2 by this is 3i plus 3i and clearly z square. This value is 3i square plus 1. So, this is 3 square, this is 9, i square, this is minus 1, minus 3i plus 2 by, this is a 6i into 3 square 9, so this is minus 9 plus 1. And clearly, this is minus 3i, minus 9 plus 2 is nothing but minus 7, so this is minus 8, this is minus 48 into i. So, if I cancel this minus and show you. And this will be the residue of f of z. Residue of f of z at the interior pole z is equal to 3i is equal to. If I cancel minus in, as, in the numerator as well as the denominator, this will be 48 into i. So, this is the next interior pole. The next interior pole z is equal to 3i. The residue value is this one. Now, the next thing is I am going to apply this in residue theorem so what does the residue theorem states the statement of the residue theorem states that according to our residue theorem 
according to our residue theorem this is integral c f of z into dz is nothing but this is 2 pi i into sum of the residues sum of the residues of interior poles sum of the residues of the interior poles here the interior poles are nothing but so integral c f of z into dz so integral c f of z dz is nothing but 2 pi i into the interior pole is plus i and 3 i so for plus i the value here is 1 minus i by 16 i 1 minus i by this is 16 i and for the next interior pole 3 i this is 3 i plus 7 by 48 i 48 i see here this is 2 pi i times of if i take 48 i so this goes in 3 times that is 3 into 1 minus i plus this is 3 i plus 7 clear so here this is 2 pi i times of this is 3 minus 3 i plus 3 i plus 7 by this value is 48 i this value is 48 i so if i cancel these two and see this will be 2 pi i into this value is 10 by 48 i so if i cancel this for 24 times so this is 5 and this is 12 i i got cancelled so what remained here this is 5 pi by 12 see clearly this is integral c f of z into dz so here is a small thing here what is c here c is a contour so which is consisting of a semicircle from minus r to plus r and this is a semicircle with center 0 and radius r so this is y axis and this is x axis so this is split into two parts so first part is from minus r to plus r f of x into dx and the next one is the semicircle this is a semicircle part so the direction here is like this first from minus r to plus r see here minus r to plus r f of x as it is a real axis f of x into dx and this is a cr this is f of z into dz value is equal to this is 5 pi by 12 now as r as r tends to infinity see here as r tends to infinity this will be minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx as r is tending to infinity so this value is 0 I'll, I'll show you how it becomes 0 see so if you take this cr into f of z into dz clearly there is an explanation for this so what is our f of z value so f of z is very clear as so this is a z square minus z so this is a z square minus z plus 2 by this is z power 4 plus 10 z square plus 9 clearly first we have to take z is equal to see here z is equal to r into e power i theta so if i take modulus on both sides so this is e power i theta so mod z value is equal to this is cos theta plus this value is i sin theta so mod z value is very clear as this one this is cos square theta plus sin square theta which is equal to 1 mod z value is equal to r and see here if i take z is equal to r into e power i theta same z is equal to r into e power i theta and if i derive on both sides that is r into e power i theta and again i into d theta again if i take modulus then this is r d theta remains like that i times of e power i theta so clear so dz is equal to r into d theta this is i times of this is cos theta plus i sin theta clear this is mod dz value is equal to r into d theta and this can be written as root over if i multiply with i this is cos square theta plus minus sin theta square so cos square theta whole square minus sin theta whole square so this mod z value will be cos square theta plus i sin square theta value is 1 that is r into d theta so these are the two substitutions which i am going to apply here so this is dz so in place of dz i am writing that is integral cr f of z into dz value is equal to this is z square minus z plus 2 by this is z power 4 plus 10 z square plus 9 into dz clearly 
in place of z i'm going to write r that is r square minus r plus 2 and here in place of z r that is 10 into r square plus 9 in place of dz as r into d theta so this is if i take r square common from this so this will be 1 minus r by r square plus this is 2 by r square into r into d theta by this is if i take r for 4 common this is 1 plus this is 10 by r square 9 by r for 4 so if i cancel 3 r's 1 r remains as r tends to infinity so 1 by infinity the value here is 0 so this is nothing but integral cr f of z dz value is very clear as 0 after this substitution so this is the clarity which i have given so here clearly I am writing as r is tending to infinity this value becomes 0 this is 5 pi by 12 and therefore so what is the question so in the question it is asked to prove that so it is asked to prove that so integral minus infinity to plus infinity f of x dx value is this one so here integral minus infinity to plus infinity so this is f of x is nothing but x square minus x plus 2 x square minus x plus 2 plus x power 4 plus 10 x square plus 9 value is very clear as 5 pi by 12. So this is what it is asked to show that and this is also very simple and let me explain you once again. So this is the question I have transformed in terms of z and we have taken a contour. So which is a semicircle with radius r and set 0 along with the real part minus r to r. So this is the diagram. So here the total integral is split as minus r to plus r and again the semicircle. So f of z is this one. So first of all what we have to do. So we have to find the poles. For finding the poles as usual. So we have to equate the, this denominator to 0. After equating we got 4 poles. And among these poles, two are inside and two are outside. So inside poles, the residue values are found. So first, that is equal to I. The residue value is very clear as this one. The residue value is uh, this one. And for the next interior pole, Z is equal to 3I. The residue value is this one. So after finding the interior pole residues, so we have to apply the residue theorem. So that, that is 2 pi i into some of the residues of the interior poles. After crossing, we got 5 pi by 12. Clearly, C is a contour with the two parts that is from real axis minus r to plus r. And the next one is the CR, the semicircle. So how about this one? So this is going to become 0. So this clarity I have given for you. There is no need to write in the examination. So as uh, we have applied z is equal to r into e power i theta, we got cr f of z dz value is equal to 0. So after applying the value 0, so we got the final answer as 5 pi pi 1. As this is the most important question, please go through this video for one more time if you don't understand. But don't neglect this one as this is the most important question. Please pass it on to your friends and siblings. I'll be waiting for your comments. And thank you so much. Go through the playlist once so many videos are uploaded for your preparation and it will be damn easy for your preparation. And thank you so much for watching and staying till the end.